Four Eel Fishing Special Edition Rigget. If you are rigging up for jigging down on hard water or soft, take a tip from the Coke machine and give this rig a bounce in your favorite fishing hole. I like to call this baby the Double Baited Rattle Rig, or the Derber for short. This rig features a twin portion of minnows or plastics served up on the treble hooks of your favorite rattle bait. But wait, Coke machine, what brand of rattle bait is best? Ha! Do you think any lure company would have the hot spot to pay the Coke machine to promote their product? Fuck left! Any brand will do, buddy, or even better, make your own and try to learn something. Just pop a minnow on each hook. When the minnows get a shake and the lure starts spouting off from its rattle box, attracting fish to the location of your bait. What they think they're looking at when they find your lure is not to be known by us finless bipeds. I suspect that the fish's opportunistic attitude overrides its ability to perceive the surreal quality of this presentation. To them, the minnows may appear to have somehow fucked themselves into some kind of inconceivable pickle. One that has left them in a vulnerable and delectable position that makes them easy for consumption. As opportunistic predators, that's all that really matters to them. This rig works for fish of many persuasions. Even though the lure itself can be quite large, species like the voracious perch will often take a slam at the single minnow, thus hooking up on just one treble. As long as there is some object for these fools to take a spank at, then a spanking will be done. Larger fish may hit the single minnow if the bite is light, or put the munch down on the minnows and lure all in one crunch down for those days when the bite is cranked. Of course, the multiple baits will make your presentation look all the more irresistible to those greasy giants whose massive gut bombs can only be satiated with larger presentations. What could be better than the old Derber? It offers three edibles in one cup. It's like wrapping a burger in two pieces of pizza and then melting cheese on that shit. You can jig this rig or just let the minnows run the show and let your lure hang dead stick style. Perhaps you don't like Dicking about with minnows. Plastic baits can work just as well, with only about 3 eighths the hassle of live bait. If you are going to fire on a couple of plastic baits, I recommend smaller baits when fishing for panfish, and of course larger baits for larger game. A good choice which makes the rig more universal for all predatory species is to have a larger rattle bait with smaller plastic teasers. This way the big game can put the sledge on the big bait, while the smaller guys can take a blast at the smaller baits. When you play the middle road, you can ensure higher success rates for all species combined. You can also vary up what styles of plastic to rock, such as the classic grub, mini tube, trout sprout, or some other plastic shot. Feel free to experiment with different styles, flavors, and colors until you find what the fish are digging. But Coke Machine, can I put a worm on that rig? Dude, a good general rule for fishing. Jam a worm on everything. You cannot fail. Hooks, spinners, spoons, jigs, crankers, and spankers. All will do well with a night crawler thrashing around on it. You can put all kinds of crazy baits on this rig. One time I even put a dried onion skin on and got results. So rig it and watch the party start at the tip of your rod. Rig in. Rig out. For real. But Coke Machine, what are the best areas and situations to bust this rig? Ah, fuck. Give me a month.